Okay, so in this video we're looking at um, a first kinematics uh, graph review question where we're trying to take an acceleration time curve, or we're given it an acceleration time curve and we're asked to plot the corresponding uh, position time curve. So this is a challenging question. Uh, we are also given some information about the car. It has initially a negative velocity and a positive position at time equals zero. So the first step I would do is to try to draw the VT curve um, that corresponds to this AT curve. So I draw the VT curve, make a plot underneath the AT, that will make things somewhat easier. And then I would drop some lines down to for the line for the times that correspond to these accelerations, and acceleration changes. So we can make it consistent with this AT curve. So we're told this is a VT. So we're told that the object has an, an initially a negative velocity and so I'll start, it doesn't say how negative but I'll just make it, uh, this small negative value here and then we know it has a negative acceleration so the VT um, graph must have a negative slope corresponding to this uh, particular value of the acceleration and again it's a qualitative uh, question so there's nothing there's no numbers in here but I do know that the uh, there's two different non-zero accelerations. There's a positive acceleration later, but this is not a, as large a you know magnitude as this one. So this should have a steep slope, steep negative slope, and this should have a less sort of steep positive slope. So I'll draw in somewhat steep curve here, and then it has. Um, no acceleration, so whatever velocity it ends at this particular point, it needs to remain at that velocity for the this next time interval where the acceleration is zero. And again, I'll just drop another line down here to find out where the acceleration ends. So as I mentioned that this acceleration is its absolute value is not as large as this, so it should have a shallower slope. So the BT curve would look something like this, and hopefully this will make sense that uh, that the velocity uh, ends up being more negative than uh, where it started. Again, the area underneath the AT curve is a delta V, and we've got a large uh, area here where the velocity becomes more negative than where it started, and uh, then the positive change of velocity underneath this particular curve, underneath this line. So overall, the net change in the velocity should be negative, so we should end up at a lower negative value than where the object started. And then we have to then work from the VT curve back to the XT curve. And again, I, what I'll do here is I'll break up this x-axis or this time axis up into um, three different uh, equal uh, intervals. Maybe I'll Three, six, and nine on my ruler. I'll just make these uh, drawing these like grid lines. Okay, so what we have in this particular case is that we have a initially a positive position. Again, it doesn't state uh, explicitly how positive, but just to use the room in the graph, I'll start with a large. Uh, positive position. And in this particular case it starts with a negative velocity that gets more and more negative until it reaches a particular point here where it has a constant negative velocity and then it, it slows down where the velocity is getting less and less negative. So we, and so a, a, a negative velocity means that we the tangent line to this particular point must be negative and then get more and more negative. So we should sort of a downward sloping parabolic shape until um, we get to um, this particular uh, grid line. So if I start with something that's sort of 
uh, is a downward sloping tangent line and somewhat uh, draw my best parabola and it doesn't have this is again qualitative so um, this should be parabolic in shape and then whatever the tangent line is at this tread line there should be a a constant slope equivalent equal to that for then the next uh, interval and uh, to indicate the constant velocity uh, indicated by this particular line here and then what happens over the, the third sort of interval here is that the velocity becomes less negative so again the tangent lines to the x here still have to be negative but must be coming less negative so we have sort of a line that sort of um, is sloping uh, sort of upwards but we know the at the end at this particular tread line the velocity should still be negative so it should, should still be a negative um, slope so again I would make again some sort of parabola that has a negative slope here um, and uh, this should be reasonably close for a qualitatively uh, correct I think we can make it somewhat more accurate at comparing slopes at the beginning to the end but we should definitely have a parabolic uh, shape here this should be a uh, straight line and then another parabolic section here and at all times the tangent lines to these, uh, these slopes must be negative because at all times on a VT graph the velocity is also negative um, yeah, and I think this is, should be okay for a somewhat qualitatively correct VT curve or XT curve that corresponds to this AT curve.